And next to ABC's Kira Phillips, who's in Washington, who is spending time today with a very young author who has a lot to celebrate right now. Good afternoon, Kira. That is so true, Amy. As journalists, you know, we always love more time to tell a story, right? Well, this pandemic definitely made that possible for one aspiring young writer who took advantage of Virginia's stay-at-home order by finishing and publishing a book that she had no idea would resonate so deeply with our country right now. And just what can you do, Prince Hopper asked haughtily. I can draw, replied Baniella. Chloe Middleton was only eight when she had an idea for a book. So what triggered a book idea at eight years old? Well, I've, I've always loved reading and writing, and my dream was always to become an author when I grew up. Chloe grew up all right. Now at 13, her dream has come true, pursuing her passion within this pandemic. So why write about bravery? Bravery is something that I feel pretty strongly about. My sisters and I, we were always taught that as long as we're brave and we work hard, then we can accomplish a lot. And during this pandemic, what have you seen that you think has been a true sign of bravery? Oh, well, all the brave men and women who are stepping up to help us and saving lives like, every day. Bravery that was born into her first book, Bunny Ella. Chloe's tale of a magical little bunny who loved to write stories and draw pictures until a young prince interrupts her peaceful life forcing her to step out of her comfort zone. If one thinks with one's stomach rather than with one's heart or head, one can't just help but make the wrong choice. Chloe saw Bunny Ella's bravery in the faces of these healthcare workers on the front lines, many of whom very brave women. You don't have to be a superhero or do some big, huge act of heroic strength to be brave. You can just be brave by believing in yourself and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and doing challenging things. They taught the bunnies to have imagination, to believe in magic and in themselves, and to have a pure and brave heart, just like Beniella. And Amy, Chloe actually self-published her book, and it's now for sale on Amazon. And for every book that's sold, she'll be making donations to the Calvary Women's Shelter here in Washington, D.C. Amy? I love that. Paying it forward. Kira, thank you so much.